Hey guys, welcome to part one of the Atari.io Retro Junk Box number three. In this video, I'm going to show you what I took out of the Retro Junk Box. If you don't know what a Retro Junk Box is, you just take a large flat rate party mailbox from the United States Post Office, fill it with a bunch of retro stuff, pass it on to other retro fans. They take out whatever they want and put in whatever they have and send it to the next person. So I think I was number three on the list, so it's already made a few trips. But first of all, what I took out of the Junk Box, some interesting games. A set of games, I believe it's for the Sega Mark III system that was in Japan. Now, I don't have a Sega Mark III system, and these are just some sport titles, a couple soccer games and a racing game, but I thought they were odd and unique and kind of caught my eye, so I thought I'd put them in my collection of other unique and odd games that I have, even though I don't have the system. This one I took out basically to make some more room because I had quite a bit of stuff I wanted to fit in. And I didn't even fit in most of it, but I, th I didn't think anyone was really going to miss this. A modem, a 28.8 fax modem from US Robotics. That is old school. Check out that switch action there. You got your dip switches on the back and all your various ports. Don't even know if it works. Doesn't come with this plug, but I figured no one would miss it and I needed to make some more room. So there you go. That is the next thing I took out. What else did I take out? Well, this was another little thing I took out just to make some room. And it's a little, uh, one of these stress balls or car, stress ball car that you get. So that can hang out with the modem there. Look, it makes a great stand. You could have your modem with your stress uh, car on top. Uh, this is a game I already have. It's for the Intellivision. It's auto racing. But I've heard that they made two different versions of auto racing. I think it's auto racing where... It controls differently. So I decided I'm going to collect some auto racings until I have both versions. So I decided to keep that just, just in case. A um, couple Game Gear games. We got Super Monaco GP and Super Columns, which is a very fun game. Some toys I took out. I got the Ninja Turtles. Well, almost all of them. I got a little Michelangelo, a little Raphael, and a little... Donatello, but I'm missing Leonardo, my favorite, which is kind of sad. He wasn't in the in the junk box, but at least they got Mega Mutant April. Look at her. She's like massive compared to them. So I got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle things going on here. A little toy I took out just to make room. It's uh, some sort of a helicopter. I guess it picks up something. I don't know. Maybe the turtles can fly it around, getting their pizza. My son wanted me to take this out for him. It's a Disney keychain. So there you go, Disney keychain. Let's hear it for the Disney keychain. Uh, inside here is a pedometer, and my son also wanted me to take that out. He thought that was just the neatest thing. He put it on, started crawling around the house, doing different things just to see how many steps he could get in. Another thing that a lot of people want to consider retro, but I understand how technology gets retro quickly, a, a Bluetooth earpiece thing. And I've, I've never had a Bluetooth thing. My, my phone isn't the smartest phone in the bunch, but this works with it. So I was like, you know what? I'll try it out. Maybe see if I can listen to some stuff through the earpiece with my phone. This was cool. Pac-Man. Special color edition for the Game Boy Color includes bonus game Pack Attack, a complete Game Boy Color game. Don't see many complete Game Boy Color games, Game Boy uh, games in general. Usually people throw out the boxes. So I like that as well. Here's a classic. How about Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, the original pack-in. I'm sure it's a pretty common game, but it's still a great game. And then I picked up some discs uh, games. I got Tekken for the original PlayStation, the original Tekken on the original PlayStation. How about Cool Borders 2, also for the PlayStation. And then finally, FIFA 97 for the Sega Saturn. Just the disc, but I like... Saturn game, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. I've never played FIFA on the Saturn. So this is what I took out of the Atari.io Retro Junk Box. In the future video at some point, I will show you what I put in and what I left behind, but I'm going to wait to hold that one until the Retro Junk Box makes it through all its course so there are no spoilers for anyone who is down the list. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nose for Gamer. Take care, everybody. Have a Retro Junk Box terrific kind of day.